a dangerous new threat tonight to our homes and health from communist China. Drywall imported from China was used on homes in Florida, California, Louisiana, and a number of other states. But now there's rising concern that building materials contain toxic chemicals. Lisa Sylvester has our report. Danny Beck thought she was moving into her dream home, a $345,000 Florida townhouse. But then the air conditioning kept conking out. Appliances started not working. And she and her husband noticed a smell of rotting eggs. I said to him, I think something crawled in the wall and died while they were building the house. That's exactly what it smelled like to me. The walls in Danny's home were literally corroding the rest of the house. Tests done by the state of Florida found that drywall imported from China was releasing volatile sulfur particles. And she wasn't the only one. Lawsuits have been filed against the various builders who used the drywall and the company that manufactured it, the Knopf Plaster or Tianjin. As many as 100,000 homes in 12 states may be affected. They are simply devastated by a situation that their number one investment, their, their place where they raise their children and their family, is toxic and defective. The drywall manufacturer Knopf says it still stands by its products. Company officials hired a pulmonologist and toxicologist to conduct studies for them. There's no health risk associated with anything that might be occurring in those spaces, and that's really not me saying that. That's independent uh, experts who've, who've said that. Part of the problem, the Consumer Product Safety Commission says there are no federal nor industry standards for drywall. Several other Chinese imports have been found unsafe in the past, including toothpaste, pet food, and toys. Every time we turn around, there's another toxic product coming over. This one, unfortunately, has an enormous economic problem for the people who've used it. Knopf says there are no health risks, but some of the homeowners have complained of nosebleeds and headaches and rashes, and the families worry that, especially in this down market, that they will be stuck with these homes forever. Lisa Sylvester, CNN, Washington.